hi guys welcome back to another video thank you guys so much for clicking on this video if this is your first video guys you know what to do hit that subscribe button smash that like button guys and drop a comment let me know where you are watching from and for all the returning subscribers thank you guys so much for coming back to another video really appreciate you guys we are almost at 5,000 subscribers guys so please 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 get me there get me there get me there get me there if you haven't subscribed already smash 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 in today's smash. video guys i'll be sharing with you guys like all the reasons why you should be moving to grand prairie alberta now i'm living in grand prairie of course i always share my my canadian journey authentically about migrating to grand prairie but i'm gonna go into more facts as to why i think grand prairie is one of the best places that you can migrate to as a new immigrant right now before i get into it guys if you are new here my name is dems i'm a jamaican who migrated to canada in 2019 with my family i came as an international student finished school now a permanent resident living in the beautiful city of grand prairie Alberta. i share my journey um authentically in all my previous videos if you guys are interested to see what my journey has been like go and check out some previous videos guys and i promise you you will not be disappointed now with that being said guys um of course i've started my business the anderson's digital marketing and settlement services company check out my link in the description box right down below if it is that you need to book a session with me a one-on-one -on -one to find out more about my journey about migrating to canada how did i do it how has it been and how can it help your experience book a time in my calendar if you're thinking of coming to canada as an international student and you need help with your letter of explanation you're a little bit um i've been a little bit of writer's block i also help with that i help with settlement services if you want somebody to find an apartment for you um airport pickup um anything like that take you to get your first groceries your furniture whatever case may be i do provide those services check out all my links in my video description for now my services are limited to alberta but also to nova scotia halifax and dormont blessings guys blessings blessings thank you guys for the love thank you guys for no, the support a lot of persons like when i'm in grand prairie and persons ask me all the time why did you choose to live in grand prairie my answer is always the same. I'm my wife's idea, right? Now, this was all Nats' idea to come to Grand Prairie in the beginning because, of course, Nats has family who lived in Grand Prairie, so it was easier for us to come to somewhere where we kind of knew someone um, rather than to go somewhere where we didn't know anyone. And that's how we knew about Grand Prairie, Alberta. Now, previously to that, I had no idea that this city existed. I didn't even know um, that I'd be here this long. The intention was to come to Grand Prairie, finish school, and then get out at the first opportunity that I've gotten. That was the plan. That was the goal in 2019 when I got here. Um, happy to say that I'm still here in Grand Prairie four years later. <laughs> um, my life has been wonderful here in Grand Prairie. Um, we have developed, learned, and experienced a whole lot while since moving here to Grand Prairie. And I just want to share um, some of the reasons why I think moving to Grand Prairie would be beneficial to you and your family as a now, new The first reason why I would suggest that you guys should move to Grand Prairie is because of its size. Now, Grand Prairie is a growing community, and every day there's a new immigrant in Grand Prairie. So pretty soon, Grand Prairie is going to be so developed that it'll be rival of Edmonton and Calgary. But for now, the size of Grand Prairie is perfect. Now, the size has a lot of benefits. As a new immigrant, when you just land, more often than not, you're not gonna be mobile, right? You're gonna have to rely on public transit in most cases. Now, the size of the city makes it perfect for you to transition. Everything is between 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes at tops apart. Now, if it is that you have to go to school as an international student and you take the bus, you are at school within 5 minutes. If you have to go to work as an international student, you are at work with, within 5 or 10 minutes. Now, the size makes it very, very easy to adapt and then you learn that the transition period is a lot easier because the size of the city is not as big as probably Edmonton or Calgary. Now, that is Perfect. The second main reason, guys, why I think you should migrate to Grand Prairie is because it is a rural town, rural city in Alberta as of now. Now, being a rural city means that there's additional immigration um, programs that you can benefit from, being that you're living in a rural town. Now, the rural renewal stream is one of those opportunities where employers who are located in Grand Prairie and many other rural towns in Alberta, to be fair, but in this video, we're talking about Grand Prairie, right? So, in Grand Prairie, employers who are located in Grand Prairie who are part of the rural renewal stream 
can employ persons who are not in Canada and then that gives persons the opportunity to apply for a work permit and then eventually apply for permanent residency of Canada. Now, this is a big deal, guys. I've covered this in one of my previous videos where I share more about the rural renewal stream. But this is a stream that Grand Prairie was one of the first communities to be a part of. Now, it is a big stream and it's something that is um, very, very good for persons who are thinking of migrating to a rural town. And Grand Prairie is one of those towns, even though it's a small city, it has a big city kind of feeling. Now, the third reason why I think you should migrate to Grand Prairie, guys, is the job opportunities. Outside of the rural renewal stream and outside of all of those factors, I'm always advocating for small towns. And it's simply because there are more jobs than job seekers. Now, it simply means that as a new immigrant, your opportunity to find a job especially a job in a specific field increases a lot in Grand Prairie, Alberta. There are always jobs and when you meet a lot of persons and you ask them, why did you move to Grand Prairie, even from different parts of Canada? Their answer is always going to be because of the job opportunities, right? It's an oil town like most persons, a lot of persons work in the oil field and the rigs and stuff, but it's also a service town. So there's a lot of service jobs and there's a lot of other jobs that's available in Grand Prairie. And you know what? As a new immigrant, I found that to be very beneficial because I was able to leave from becoming an international student to then becoming a part-time teller, full-time teller, teller I was a manager for Frontline and now I'm a senior financial advisor, all in the space of three and a half years. So to show you the, 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 the growth that is possible in a town like Grand Prairie, it is exponential and my story is not unique there's a lot of persons who came here as immigrants who were able to create successful businesses for themselves and also to get gainful employment that allowed them to grow and to develop and to strive in many many ways so that's one of the biggest benefits about grand prairie. another reason why i say living in grand prairie is for new immigrants and why you should consider coming to grand prairie is the people now grand prairie has a very growing um, population and it is becoming vastly diversified now depending on where you come from i can almost say that there is a community that you can align with now i'm from jamaica and there is a jamaican community here um there's a um, filipino community there's an indian community there's like a lot of cultures of a lot of communities here so it's fastly becoming diversified right now with that being said the people who are here are very friendly for the most part now, in any city, you're going to have um, some bad eggs. That's not, that's not um, unique to just Grand Prairie. You're going to find that. But essentially, Grand Prairie is a very friendly city. Persons are typically very helpful. Now, I remember when I just landed my first winter, like I didn't really know what to do and what not to do. And then I ended up with a flat tire um, while I was going to Walmart to just grab a few items. Now, I've shared this in previous vlogs before. But I wasn't really prepared for that flat tire, neither was I really prepared for the weather, which was like minus 30 at the time. No gloves, barely had on a, a jacket. It was just like I was just planning to run in, run out kind of thing. When I came out, I had a flat tire. While being there trying to change my tire in minus 30, unprepared, like someone just pulled up beside me, jumped out and gave me a hand. Now, I'm not sure if they, that will happen in many other places in, in Canada or in the world. It might but I found that to be very, very interesting and that's something that stuck with me because especially because I was still fairly new at that point in time. So that was like something that left a great impression on me. Grand Prairie is a very friendly town, um, very vibrant in some cases. You will definitely have fun when you move to Grand Prairie. Another great benefit, guys, of living in Grand Prairie, in addition to its friendly population, is the sense of community. Now, if you're ever in a jam and you need their community support, let me tell you that there's not many other places that's going to give you more support than what you'll get in Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie is such a supportive community. We support local and also if it is that you have a charity, Grand Prairie will support, 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 support. I've seen it so many times. One of my previous job guys, I worked with a not-for-profit organization here as well in Grand Prairie and it's amazing the sense of community that you feel. And it's definitely, definitely rewarding for new immigrants who are especially interested in um, being a part of a volunteer group. And also just to get your your name out there and you get more exposure and stuff like that. There's a lot of not-for-profit organizations here. Not-for-profit organizations that focus on different goals. 
and all of them are extremely well and they're all well supported so that was something that i found very very rewarding when i moved to grand prairie because i'm always trying to volunteer as well and that's something that is big 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 here big up on yourself thank you grand prairie thank you thank you thank you for having such a a wonderful 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 community now as a new immigrant what are some of the things that we think about culture food weather uh access to access to um entertainment now grand prairie is developing a lot so as i said there is a lot of cultural diversity here so uh, most cultures will be able to find food that they can align with um and definitely entertainment that they can align with now i'm not gonna lie guys as a jamaican living in grand prairie i wish that there was a jamaican restaurant a friend of mine started one but it didn't really last to the test of time so a jamaican restaurant is greatly needed now people say them why don't you start a jamaican restaurant well if i could cook i'll probably start a jamaican restaurant but i can't cook so i have to wait on somebody who can cook to start a jamaican restaurant and then i can get jamaican food but for the large part you can find cultures that you can identify with i can definitely find a sense of home right now in terms of the weather um summer is awesome summer is beautiful here but the winters are an acquired taste right <laughs> it takes a time for you to acquire the taste for winter but once you get there you'll get there grand prairie is an amazing community guys if you're thinking of migrating definitely look on grand prairie alberta as an option there's tons of opportunities here um my family moved there and it was simply one of the best decisions that and we, we will not change anything now um if it is that we were to do this journey all over again um we'll do it again i'm really really happy that we had chosen grand prairie to be our home and I just want to let you guys know that, listen, Alberta is a very big province and there are many other towns that you can look into outside of the major metropolitans, right? Come to Grand Prairie and I promise you guys, connect with me and you will not be disappointed, all right? Make sure that you smash a like on this video. Um, appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. It really, really helps me out. And drop a comment. Let me know where you are watching from and what is your city like? Can you identify with any of the things that I've said? Or would you disagree with anything that, that I've said? Check out all my links in the video description. As I said, you can book a time with me. If you want to hear about my immigration journey on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you can connect with me. If you need help with your LOE or if you need help with your settlement services, click on the link in the description. Check me out on our social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, the old works. Give us a follow. Give us a like. And thank you guys so much for the love. Thank you guys for the support. See you guys in the next video. Hopefully we're over 5,000 subscribers at that time. See you guys later.